progs are coming with the next update and I'm super excited. So today to celebrate the coming of frogs into the Minecraft world, we're gonna build a frog fountain. To build this uh, frog fountain, you will need the following items. So you'll need 25 blocks. These can be any blocks pretty much. I've used oxidized copper. Gonna need 15 stairs. I've also used copper and four slabs. Then we'll need some fence gate. I use warp wood and four trap doors. For the eyes, I've used calcite and two polished blackstone buttons. And of course we need the water for the fountain. So these blocks are for the main structure, the frog statue, but if you want to add some more decorating, you can use lily pads. You can make some custom ones with trapdoors and coral fans. You can also use some glow lichen, some kelp. If you want to make a circle around it as I did, you can also need a, a stack of slabs. I use deep slate because it fits everywhere, but it's up to you. Alright, let's get to building. So find your good spot and then do a 3x3 of blocks. Then we add a block on each side with the stair in front, also two at the front and in the back we add three upside down stairs just like that. For the next layer we also have a 3x3, three three, a block to the side, same as the first one. In the back we add three stairs but not upside down this time. Then we have three blocks in the middle like this and three more stairs behind it. Then two stairs facing each other and then slabs on top of it to make the frog's mouth. Then you have the water in the middle. Then for the eyes, you add the kyle site and then put a button on each side. Then you can add the trapdoors, one behind and one on top, and the fence gate in the middle, which is opened. Then that's it for the structure. One thing you could do is do some texturing. It's up to you to decide which blocks you want to use. Since I used oxidized copper, I've also added some prismarine. It fits well with it. You can also add some warped wood. It's up to you. If you don't want to texture it, it's also fine. It's up to you to, to decide what you want. Now, if you want to add a, a fountain around it, you go two blocks in front of the water, you add a slab, then on the side, three blocks, and then you add a slab. There you go, same on the other side. And on the back, three as well. There you go. Now that you have your blocks, you can extend two slabs on each side of the block. Just like I'm doing here. Then you're gonna come around and add three slabs at each end, like I'm doing right there. And they should connect diagonally. Once you've done that, just add a slab in each corner. And there you go, you got a small circle like this. Then you can dig everything down by two blocks. and fill everything with water. Right now the water is flowing, if you don't want that, you can add some kelp and it will create water sources and uh, make the water still instead of flowing. And then to do some more decorating, we can do some custom lily pads, put a warp trap door and then a coral fan on top. And it looks pretty cool. You can add as many as you want. And you have a few colors to choose from. Then I've added some warp nihilium around it because it fits the color theme. You don't have to do that or you can do dirt, it's up to you. And I've bone milled it. Also added a wall with a lantern on top. I added some leaves here and there. Azalea leaves of course. And then I've added some normal lily pads. You can also texture the fountain ring if you want. 
and I've added lantern at each end. And that's pretty much it. I've added a free world download in the description below. I've added the two other variants for frogs. So the white one and the orange one. So if you want to check that out for yourself, grab the world download. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. If you decide to build this in your world, please send me screenshots on Twitter or join my Discord server. You can join it in the description. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.